The purpose of this video is to show you how to navigate and change the room temperature set point on the key to evaporator efficiency controller. The easiest place to start is the room temperature reading on the controller. To make sure you're at that point, hit the back button a couple of times to make sure that you are at the room temperature readout on the controller. From here, you want to navigate either left or right across the column headers till you find the set points column, which is STPT. At this point, you can scroll now down through that column. If you haven't already put in a password, you will have to it will prompt you to put in a password with PSWD. Hit the enter key button and then put in the password 2222. You can change the digit by pressing the up or down arrow key and go left or right to highlight the next digit to change. Once the proper password is in place, hold the enter key down for three seconds. At that point, the room temperature set point uh, request will basically appear most of the time. If not, you can scroll down through the set points column in order to find that room temperature set point change position, which is RMSP. Again, hit the enter key button at this point. It'll show that the current room temperature set point is minus 10 degrees. At that point, then you hold the enter key down for another three seconds at this point, and one of the digits will start to, to blink. You can now scroll over to any of the digits and change them to whatever the reading you want to make them. In this case, I'll make the uh, new room set point 35 degrees. Once you have displayed the room temperature <coughs> that you wish to change for a set point, hold the enter key down again for three seconds, and the controller will accept that input. After that, you can hit the back button to get back to the room temperature reading display.